I go by the name Pretty Yanni, and welcome to the Made in Show of G Scanner on BME. This show would have various of trending topics, a lot of things about the black community, the African community, and diaspora as well as entertainment and many more. And you know, the exciting part about this is that I have a just buddy. Hi guys, my name is Karima, and definitely I'm super excited about this. So yeah, what's the hot topic for today? I wish, because I love that movie. I watched it over and over and over. Trust me. But coming to America in this case is Africans leaving the shores of their country, you know, and coming to America, seeking greener pastures and all that. So it's like, what was your expectation before coming to America? Hmm. That's a good question. Like, I don't think I had any expectation coming to America, because I came here at a very younger age. You know, people that were born here, or people that came here at a very younger age, it was because their parent had to come give birth to them over here, or bring them here, just so they can have like a better future. Like they say, get a better education and all of that stuff. So, I can't really say, what about you? With me, actually, I it was my dream of coming to America. I was just that kind of person who wanted to make it on my own, you know, I was a hustler. So you felt like America is where you're going to make it? No, exactly. <laughs> no, exactly. Something else brought me to America, you know, sometimes you just, things just happen, things change. Right, right. You know, you make your plans and your plans change. Sure. But before I came to America, you know, I was like, oh, America is a super big country, mm -hmm. you know, the country of the free and all that. And when you get to America, you're going to be walking on gold and right. silver, you, you know, and you're going to be picking dollars in the street of America. Right. And when I got here, I'm like, it's just the American. <coughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> it's, just America. like, it's not like it's not beautiful. It's beautiful here, you know. Um, it's way different from my. But country. you never imagined that there are going to be like places like the hood, ghetto, the slums, and people also sleeping on the streets. Like, like real, it was back home in Nigeria. Pretty and exactly. like real ghetto. Right, right. Like I went to the street of New York and I saw this, you know, mm -hmm. it's, big, it's way big similar. massive rats. Right. Like I'm like, really? Ha! The rats. Am I not right. That kind of thing. Exactly. But it's it's like when you come to this country. You just have to hustle for anything, everything. That's right. It's just the same thing. So what's the point of moving from the country that you were to the foreign land, like the called America is a land of opportunities. Like, why do you come out here if you're People, also going through the yeah. same thing back home? Like, you even live a better life. People come here to work their butts off, to make money, to do all of this stuff. By the end of the day, where's the peace of mind? You could say that. That's from your own point of view. That's Facts. your own opinion. Facts. Other people's opinion are like, when I come to this country, I'm going to get a better, better education. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's the truth. I mean, the education part is understandable because obviously there's financial aid. <laughs> <laughs> there's scholarships. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so yes. it's way better. Which you might not get in your country. The other resources right. you get here, you don't get back in your country. Mm -hmm. and, and then you know, when, when you're done over here with the education, I believe that jobs are guaranteed for most people. Unlike back home, when you're done... It's like, you might as well just start all over from the bottom, exactly. Like, unemployment is on the rise. That's why, uh, like, I, I kind of applaud Nigerian youths now. Not just Nigerian youths, African youth. They're really using, you know, technology, the right. social media to become entrepreneurs. Right. And now you can, you know, buy things online. People are starting their businesses. Exactly. Just trying to break out of that, you know, blue-collar job kind of thing, mm -hmm. you know, because unemployment is on the rise. Right. And... With the history of corruption back home, it's affected the economy. The government and people not doing are, their jobs. People are seeing reasons to leave right. the shores of their country and right. come to America to make a better future for themselves. I think it's kind of worse back home right now. So there's like a vast majority of people having to leave wherever they're from, like, you know, Nigeria, Ghana, um, Kenya, Cameroon, everywhere to come to America, you know. But I feel like where it's very very rampant i would say is nigeria because right now it's really really bad out there and you guys can agree with me right the truth is just that coming to america is not as easy or fun as people think it's it is. not even when you're in america i'm sorry to cut you off but even when you're in america 
like i've had a bunch of stories whereby people sleep in shelters before they can actually get like an actual apartment it's not that easy people don't let them feed you with all those lies it's people. hustle hard trust me and you know the worst part is if you don't have your papers oh boy <laughs> i don't know what to tell you man i think you guys can do that research by yeah yourself. it's it's hustle hard you gotta work for everything you have you know you used to think oh when i get to america i'm gonna take pictures for the ground i'm gonna have my porch I'm and all that start Oh, don't let the video feel you oh uh, you uh. <laughs> oh man, I lie, uh. it's a lie you so like things are so different you just have to hustle like, right really hustle hard work right. nine to five jobs sometimes you got to go to school if you're married you got to take care of your kids you got to take care of your home you got to exactly. go to school you got to go to work exactly you got to pay the bills a lot of people work overnight jobs and when i mean overnight jobs i mean like from 11 p.m to like 7 a.m or 9 a.m in the morning they don't get to sleep and are then you, the the also starts all over by going are, to school are you, are you getting talking education? about overnight jobs <laughs> i'm talking about people working two three jobs right right to pay the bills right right and trust me paying rent over here too it's a force you have to pay this is not like i don't know how if i mean i can't really relate as much but back home i believe that people People don't really pay rent, do they? <laughs> uh -uh. People pay rent. Not people know they pay rent. Like, pay I mean, rent but it's not. Now. But it's not like. But it's, you know, it's easier to build your house, home, mm -hmm. your house back home, and live in your house, and you become your own landlord. Mm -hmm. But here. <laughs> Even if you buy a house, you got to pay a mortgage for right. the, maybe the next 40 years of your life. Right, exactly, exactly. And you That's pay like, and you don't even finish paying and your children mm -hmm. will pay and your children's children will continue paying. Exactly. You know, that's how hard it is. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, here, when you work, you make your money. Like, you know, you know, when you're working, you're earning what you're working for. Right. And you know, when you go to school, you get the value of what you're working for right. compared exactly. to um, Africa. Um, Nigeria, I would say, because I'm a Nigerian, you know, people From go to Nigeria school. Now here. Yeah, mm -hmm. people go to school, people graduate, and there's unemployment on the rise, you know, and all that. And people get jobs, and these jobs don't even pay them as exactly. much as they're supposed to exactly. earn. Yeah. And you know, it's pretty difficult. That's why so many talented, intelligent people leave the shores of Nigeria Just and you know, come to a foreign land and then it becomes like a brain drain for Nigeria and exactly. a brain drain for them in the foreign land because they become intellectuals and it's like an added advantage to mm -hmm. the US exactly. or whatever foreign land they go to. That's why just Nigeria as a um um the the con what would I what adjective am I gonna use? Because Diversity is what make, make what makes America great. Perfect. That's different a, that's people a good way to from it. different exactly. cultures, right. bringing different their, talents, exactly. coming together. Yes, bringing it into this country, making mm -hmm. this country great. Right. That's that's true. That's true. Like before I came to the US, I I had left Nigeria for some years. I have lived in another country, mm -hmm. and it was just like I was exposed to another culture, a different culture. But it was just like one culture which was similar to the culture I was exposed to in my country mm -hmm. but coming to America you're exposed to different cultures right you're open-minded you're not close-minded like you used to be you, you know you have different people from different countries countries I've never heard of before right coming before together. coming to this country exactly and that's I get to true. this point I'm like really that's true is that on the map you know that kind <laughs> right. of thing but it's 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 a good exposure for me it it's is a good exposure it sure for me is. yes so yeah, with that being said, do you guys have any other contributions to add to this? If you do, just like, subscribe, comment below. Make sure you watch the video, of course. Don't forget to subscribe. Go on our website as well, bmeent.com. And trust me, guys, you'll be able to win a lot of stuff too. Like, you know, going to Bonaboy, going to Kiss Daniel, going to Tenny, all of those concerts. You get to get free tickets if you're able to participate in this. So yeah, we're about to dive into what's trending right now. Some hot topics. Trending, you know? Are you guys ready for this gist? Okay, let's bring it on, Karima. So pretty young, I was on the gram, you know. The gram is where I get my comic relief from. Everybody you know, does. It's stressful day at work. Yeah. And I was just like, what's going on? She's a blogger. Her name is Blessing CEO. I think that's the hashtag of hers on Instagram. You know when they say people do a lot of things for clout? When people try to act as if there is something that they're not, I'm sure you guys know what that is. Like, why can't you just be original? Be yourself. I, I mean, we don't really know what's behind all of this, 
We don't know if it's a publicity stunt. Exactly, because bloggers can go to the extreme. You know what I mean? But yeah, what did you hear about this lady? But seriously, young. <laughs> seriously. You be like, say that thing a lie. <laughs> My very big girl. Like, that, that brings me to Instagram, social media influencers. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? People come and say different things for right. the gram. Right. Just because you need followers, just you need because you need the fame. Exactly. You want to be out there and all right. that. And I beg, if you don't have something, don't claim you have it. Don't! People are not gonna hate you for that. Everybody is struggling. You don't know maybe your help is just on the way. And they'll be like, oh God, look at her. Look at that billion dollar house. Right. She doesn't need this help. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And now you're cutting off your blessings. You never know. So this goes to Instagram or whatever, social right. media influencers, and you're trying to, you know, paint, do right. things for the um, gram and pay the picture perfect Right. So for people, for people that are confused, right? So there's this lady, lesson, right? She's a blogger. So basically, she went to some house that was built by somebody else, right? And I believe it was on her birthday or days before her birthday. She went to that place and took a picture and said, oh, this is what God has done for me. <laughs> My ex chased me out of the apartment when I was so, 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 and so. Now this is the blessing. I had to build this from scratch and whatnot. So I guess a day after or a few hours later, she got picked up. I guess her ex is dancing skilly. <laughs> but anyways, so she got picked up and she was handcuffed and they told her to confess that that place wasn't for her. She was crying. She was like, oh yeah, it's not my apartment, blah, 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 this, this, that. So we just need people to say, is this for, is she like doing this for publicity stunts or did this really happen? We just want to know. So if you guys have anything to say about that. You know where to drop the comments. The video was really humiliating. It was very humiliating. I, I feel bad for the family, man. Like, and she's 30 years old. Like, I don't want to say anything bad about this, but come on now. If we're at 30, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> well, it's, it's going to pass. It's, it's it, just will gonna pass it will pass for sure. Pass. But please, pass. people, if there are teenagers watching this, if there are young people watching this, even young adult watching this, please, please, please stay original. Don't let nobody tell you anything. Be original. yourself. Yup. See me already said it. Be original. So you need to be original. Stay original. Don't let no one tell you anything. Do not do anything for clout. Trust Don't me. Don't be deceived by everything you see on the ground. Yep. Not all the glitter do is gold. Do you. People. Hustle yep. hard. All right. Make so. your money and let it speak for you. Right. Not the other way around. Work hard, people. Hard work definitely pays. So yeah, with that being said, guys, we want you to like, share, comment. And subscribe and don't forget to visit our website bmeent.com because you might be in for some good, good surprises peace out